Jurek was born and educated in post-war Poland. Among his original artistic influences were Salvador Dali and his own mother, who was also an artist. She introduced Jurek to art history, mythology, a love for nature, and the fundamental skills of artistic expression. One of his early encounters with art was Salvador Dali's symbolic painting, The Burning Giraffe, a gruesome image of a giraffe with its back ablaze as a symbol of war. Mind you, this discovery took place in a Europe still recovering from the ravages of World War II. Being surrounded by European art gave Jurek an education and a respect for history. He believes history is a core of who we are today and connects us with the future. It is part of our karma. He has lived and traveled all over Europe and in 1978 moved to New York, where he got involved in the fashion business. In turn, fashion gave way to illustration and in June 1986, Jurek's painting entitled Yellow was featured on the cover of Penthouse magazine. This marked the unprecedented use of a painting for a publication which traditionally used photographic covers. His lifelong passion for flying then led to decorating commercial airplanes with his artwork, which was quickly gaining international recognition. He has continued to do this for the last 20 years. He has been featured in various art magazines and in 1992, was featured on the cover of Airbrush Action magazine, which led to a long-term friendship and mutually respectful relationship. Urex Art has been published in several books throughout the US, England, and Italy. Among them, a new book on Airbrush by Giorgio, released in April 2011. After years of exploring portraiture, Urex was working with licensing his art to the estates of Bob Marley, Marilyn Monroe, The Grateful Dead, Jerry Garcia, and Jimi Hendrix, bringing worldwide recognition to his work. Aside from the commercial demands, he has been painting and showing his art in Europe, Mexico, and the United States. He lived for some time in an artist colony in Provincetown, Cape Cod, maintaining his studio and gallery, teaching airbrush art, learning the methods of the old masters, traveling, and raising his two children, Krishna and Yoko, with fellow artist Kathy B.C. He's developed his own line of airbrush paints, Medea Textile Colors by Yurik. Over the decades, Yurik's love for art, history, and his respect for nature have come full circle with his current soulful portraits of animals. Created with his unique signature method based on the secrets of the Dutch master's Misha technique, incorporating a palette of favored tools he works with a Buddhist discipline on his wildlife art, making a statement that he hopes will cause people to reflect on what we are doing to this beautiful planet, and perhaps change man's attitude toward preserving what precious little we have left. Only then, wildlife art will have achieved its purpose. Freed from the commercial pressures, Yura can now explore airbrush as a tool for artistic expression, as was his original intent. There is a certain magic or transcendental quality to what the airbrush can do. Beautiful art is created without the canvas being touched by anything other than the paint. Like modern blacksmiths, airbrush artists will be revered for their creativity and skill. Come and join Yurik in this unique opportunity to experience something that matters. And if there is a heaven, when you pass on and you get to the pearly gates, what's the first thing you would like to hear St. Peter tell you at the pearly gates? You're being a good boy. <laughs> what is he waiting for you? What is the credit card? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Eric. It's been wonderful. Peace. comes up across the banks of the great Zambezi. Looks like it's gonna be another hot one today. But it don't make no difference to that four-legged, one-horned creature in the distance.
Cause her skin is thick and tough And if this alone were not enough He's got the hearts Of a rhino Along the banks of the river is never ever easy. The crocodiles are all smiles. This rhino takes a drink, but there's nothing that is monstrous, nothing so preposterous in the heart of this rhinoceros. Heart of a rhino is very, very strong, and it beats a mighty rhythm, and it sings a sad, sweet song. The beat is mysterious. <laughs> 